Hello, this is Sam at Forum Labs, and in this video, I want to show how to use the calibration object for our new feature, Fit Tuning Test. This is um, using our newest model material, Model V3, uh, which was released in conjunction with this uh, feature. So what this feature does is you pretty much find a printer specific value on this block and that printer will then have a slight adjustment to it so you can get one or many printers printing consistently restorative uh, models, so dental restorative models. And if you notice here, there's a starting position and the number on the right here says plus 45, then it goes up to plus 30, 15, zero, and then it starts to go negative. So negative 15, 30, and 45. And as you move up the chain or the ladder, it gets tighter. And our goal here is to get it into the position where it snugly fits and is not easily removed. And I'll show you some uh, what that kind of looks like. So again, I'm going to be putting it into the starting position and it will be and should be very loose here. So you can see actually on video, I'm easily able to rotate that. I'm now going to move into plus 30. A little bit snugger, still moving around quite a bit. So I'm going to move up to the next position, plus 15. And again, easily removed. So I'm going to keep going. Zero easily removed, keep going. And then here I hit 15 and I can already tell this is a much snugger fit. This is very likely the final position. Um, I'm gonna use my thumb and index finger to snap it down. Got a nice slight satisfying snap there. And I am grabbing it by the edges here and trying to rotate it or twist it. And I cannot, uh, that's a very good sign and it is not coming out without, you know, using uh, a lot of force. So this is our final value. This is negative 15. This value is put um, and entered into the printer's screen and jobs moving forward with model V3 will have this adjustment applied to it. Um, and again, if, if you apply this to, uh, and do this on many printers, you can pretty much steer the herd uh, to, to be performing the same. And there, if there's any questions about post-processing or if you want to uh, find our new three shape and exocad materials libraries uh, which should be used in conjunction with this for these types of models and applications uh, that will also be on the support page uh, thanks for watching the video i hope this is helpful have a great day